Welcome to Medtronic Global Inclusion, Diversity, and Engagement, Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, Ally Training. Part 2, Ally Scenarios. I'm Pat Bailey, Director of Training at Out and Equal Workplace Advocates, and I'm your instructor today. Before we get started, let's talk a little bit about course navigation. Going through the course, use the Continue button to move to the next slide. When you take a quiz, this button will say Submit. You also see at the top of the page an Ally tip. When this appears, you can roll over it for more information. Read the quizzes carefully. Sometimes you can select one answer and sometimes multiple answers. When you go to the next slide, we'll review your answers on that quiz. If you have to leave the course, your progress will be tracked, and when you complete the course, it'll be noted in your record. Click Continue to get an overview of the morning coffee scenario. The Ally Scenarios in Part 2 are designed to give you some experience in handling situations that may come up in the workplace. In this scenario, Danny and Stanley are checking in on Monday morning, and Pat joins them at the coffee pot. Consider what you would do as an LGBT ally if this situation happened. We want to identify the issue, think about the impact on the employees in the workplace, and find some possible solutions that you could take. Watch the short video clip, and there'll be a quiz, and then we'll discuss the results. So did you catch the season finale of Project Runway? Oh my god, yeah, it was so good. I loved the outfits. I know, me too. The runway show was to <laughs> die for. Happy Hi. Monday. Happy Monday. Did you have a good weekend? Have a good time with your husband this weekend? Um, uh, yeah, I had a good weekend. Um, I'm going to get back to work. You guys have a good day. All right, Hang see up. you later. Bye. Okay. Well, see you later. Yeah, have a good day. Okay. Take care. The correct answer is heterosexism, assuming that everyone around you is a heterosexual. There was no fear in Pat's question, so there was no transphobia, being afraid of transgender, or homophobia, being afraid of homosexuals. And homosexus would indicate that you look at the world through only LGBT eyes. So let's take a look and see what heterosexism is all about. About what you value in your life. Take a moment and think of three things that are important to you your job, your family, where you work, doing a good job. What is important to you? Take a moment to think and then click continue when you're ready. Check now to see if you included in your list able-bodied. Imagine that the world is not built for you. If you've ever twisted an ankle or been on crutches or been in a wheelchair, suddenly everything seems very far away. The stairs are not in the right place, the rooms and doors are not big enough to get into. The world seems to be much more difficult to navigate for you. That's because the world is built for able-bodied people. Now let's relate this as we think about those that are LGBT. Sexuals who are expected to get married, expected to have kids, get a good job, raise your family. Those are all expectations that are based on a heterosexual model. That is heterosexism. You just assume that the other person, when you first meet them, is going to have an opposite sex partner or is the same gender identity as you. That's where we begin to have misunderstandings, because when I tell you that that's not who I am, there's a surprise, and sometimes that can be uncomfortable. And for LGBT individuals, that can feel like, maybe I shouldn't tell you who I am, and it's not safe to come out of my closet. Now, if this is the situation in the workplace, let's take a quick quiz to see what might be the impact. All of these situations could happen as a result of heterosexism. Now imagine that we came into a conversation and you didn't have those expectations and you just met me as I was and you weren't surprised when you saw pictures of my family and my children and my spouse who was the same sex that we would begin to be able to have an easier conversation with each other and begin to overcome those assumptions that we make and we can begin to break down heterosexism and work with each other as individuals with respect in the workplace. Take a look at the ally tip, and then let's take a quiz on what an ally could do in this situation. Any of these solutions are great steps to becoming an LGBT ally. 
Just being aware that it's an awkward situation is the way the question was asked might prompt you to action, to talk to Pat to explain the situation around heterosexism, or you might want to learn more about the community and find out what is the right way to ask questions. You can also think about as an individual, how can I phrase my questions at work and ask those questions of coworkers so that they feel comfortable answering them no matter what their sexual orientation or gender identity is. Check the ally tip, and then let's see what happens in this situation when heterosexism doesn't happen. Hey, so did you catch the latest episode of Bad Men? Oh, yeah, I did. It was so good. I know. I can't believe Betty. I know. <laughs> poor Betty. I know. Poor hey, that's how you doing. Happy Hi. Monday. Hey. Happy morning. <laughs> how was your weekend? Um, had a really good weekend. Um, my girlfriend and I celebrated our anniversary, went out to a nice dinner. So, yeah, it was really relaxing and really nice. Hey, congratulations. Oh, thanks. Congrats. Congrats. Thanks. Well, um, I'm going to get back to work, but catch up later. All right. All right. Good. Take Bye. See you later, we'll see you later. I'll back too. Yeah. Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> Pat changed the question to ask Danny how her weekend was so she could answer it in her own way. That made a difference in the whole conversation and showed great LGBT ally skills. This scenario looked at heterosexism and how, in the workplace, assuming that everyone else is a heterosexual can impact the discussions that happen around the water cooler or the coffee pot and ultimately impact the climate in the workplace, leaving LGBT employees not feeling comfortable to talk about their lives. Congratulations, you've completed the LGBT ally morning coffee scenario. Thinking about this quote may give you some ideas on how to answer a situation when it comes up the next time in the workplace to give you an opportunity to be an LGBT ally. Click on the complete button to finish the scenario and thank you for being a part of LGBT ally diversity training.